Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we will talk about how to create the hexahedral mesh in ANSYS Workbench. First of all, we will select a module. Let us select a static structural. Then we will import a geometry here. So go to geometry, left click, then right click, select import geometry and select browse. Let's select a geometry and open it. Now the geometry is imported. Now double click the model browser so that it will open in the ANSYS mechanical environment. It will take some time. Now you can see the geometry is imported in ANSYS mechanical. First of all, we need to define the type of mesh which we are going to create on this part. So first of all, we will go to mesh, right click, insert, then select method. In no selection, just click one time and select this geometry. Then go to apply. Now this geometry is selected. Now in method, instead of automatic, select hex dominant. Now we have defined the type of mesh which we are going to create. Now again go to mesh right click insert and select sizing in geometry again we are going to select this part for that make sure this body symbol is enabled if it is not enabled then just click on it and then select this part then go to geometry and apply again the body is selected here in element size first of all we will try with 5 mm element size type 5 here click outside go to mesh right click and click on generate mesh now you can see the mesh is created here but this is very coarse mesh so we need to refine this mesh so we will go to body sizing again and we will choose a different element size for example we will keep 2 mm element size Again go to mesh, right click, click on clear generated data, yes, go to mesh, right click, click on generate mesh. Now it is meshing again, it will take some time. Now you can see the refined hex mesh is created here. Generally in the flat faces, we want all the hex meshes. One pentagon is created here, so we will try to remove it. So first of all, we will count the number of elements in the first row. These are the total 26 element. So we will create one more element here. For that, we will go to mesh again, right click, insert, go to sizing. Now instead of body, select the H, H symbol here. Select this and select this H. Also select this H by pressing the control button then go to geometry and apply you can see two edges are selected here instead of type element size you can select the number of division in number of division you can type 27 click outside then again go to mesh right click clear generated data yes Again go to mesh, right click and click on generate mesh. It is remeshing again. Now you can see in these flat faces all the mesh elements are hexagon. Also on the cylindrical faces we will try to bring the hexahedral meshes. For that we will go to mesh, right click, insert and we will select face meshing from here. By the name face meshing, you can understand that we have to select the faces of the part. So we will select these faces. Click on apply. Now again go to mesh. Clear generated data. And generate mesh. Now you can see the cylindrical faces are also having the proper hex elements if you see inside you can see 
the internal cylindrical region is also having the hex meshes. So this is how we can create the hexahedral mesh in ANSYS Workbench. This is the complete procedure explained by me. I have created a separate video for the procedure to create the tetrahedral mesh in ANSYS Workbench. You can watch that video by clicking on the i button. So if you like this video, kindly hit the like and share button. Also subscribe my channel for more such important videos. Thanks for watching.